I'm Kirsten Wise, Extension Specialist for Field Crop Diseases at Purdue University. And I'm Gail Rule, Senior Plant Disease Diagnostician in the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Lab. And we're here in an Indiana soybean field today to discuss some soybean emergence issues. Now, soybeans that have been planted so far in Indiana have experienced very cool and wet conditions, and this can cause a lot of problems with emergence and stand establishment. Now there's a variety of factors that can impact um, emergence and stand establishment, and those include diseases, herbicide injury, and just too much moisture. It's very difficult to determine what could be causing the problem out in the field. Our diseases are very hard to distinguish based on the symptoms, and you need to submit samples to tell if it's a disease issue versus herbicide injury or just too much moisture. So Gail is going to show us today how to submit a proper sample to the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Lab so we can give you an accurate result about what is impacting your soybean stand. To take an accurate sample, what we want to do is be sure you take a number of different samples that show representative symptoms. So you want to dig uh, a sample that is emerging well, and you want to leave uh, the soil around the sample so that when it comes to the lab, we can get an idea of planting depth and, and any problems agronomically that might be contributing to the symptoms that you're seeing. We like to have at least a dozen plants and we don't want you to wash these samples off because we want to be able to see um, the sample just as you have dug it from the uh, ground. So you can see here we're taking samples that are uh, poorly emerging as well as samples that are emerging well. And then you will wrap the newspaper around the soybeans. Don't add any moisture to the soybeans because that will cause them to rot during shipment. So you take the newspaper, um, put it into a plastic bag, have your submission form that you have filled out, that you've downloaded from, from the web, um, a filled out submission form with all the background information, and then putting it into uh, the box with uh, crumpled up newspapers so as to keep the sample from uh, moving around in the box. And you'll notice that we're using a box that's either Priority or FedEx. We like you to ship overnight mail to get the sample to us in the best condition as possible. Although there aren't a lot of in-season management options to control seedling blights or herbicide injury, it is important to get a good diagnosis of what the issue might be. If it is a seedling disease problem, there are seed treatments that we can recommend for the next time that field gets planted to soybeans. It's also just important to know what's going on for your own records, and so that's why an accurate and representative sample is very important to obtain.